Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a historically accurate cardboard armor night helmet. Enjoy. So I start off by cutting this shape out of a large piece of cardboard with a bunch of slit at the top. And notice how it's kind of rounded. This will eventually be the back of the head. And then just go ahead and glue all those seams together. Okay, so you're gonna have to put a strip of cardboard connecting this piece to that piece. Next, you're going to want to connect a strip of cardboard from this ring to the back of the head. Then I added two more strips to even it out. Next, you're going to have to do a paper mache job to cover up all those gaps and also to smooth out the helmet. I covered the entire helmet in newspaper strips that were soaked in a flour and water mixture and I left them to dry overnight. So next, I'm going to start working on the headpiece and this is what it looks like and I'm going to cut out one side and then flip it over and duplicate it and then I'm going to pinch together all these crevices. So then you just get this and flip it over like that and you can trace it with a pencil and then cut it out with your knife. It should look a little something like this and then with all the pieces that are going to be folded and pinched together, you can just bend them against the corrugation on each side so they're easier to glue together at the, those points. Now that it is all glued together, figure out where you're going to place it on your helmet. Right above your eye, eyebrow line is where I'm going to put it. So now to finish off the rest of the face, I'm going to glue two pieces of cardboard together for extra strength. So then when that's done, um, you can go ahead and draw what your mask is going to look like. And then you only have to draw it once and then when you cut it out, just flip it over and then trace it on that side too. So when you have your entire uh, mask piece, then you can go ahead and fold it over the entire helmet. And then eventually I will pin that in place with a screw. So as you can see, there's a screw located in the helmet. Now notice how it's pointing away from your head. So then just uh, draw a little hole into that mask piece. It's hard to see, but it's uh, right here. And then that will be on the outside. So then you just match it up with that hole and then screw it in place. And then you should be able to slide down the helmet like that. Next, cut yourself a small strip of cardboard. Go ahead and glue it not to the mask that lifts up, but right underneath onto the helmet, not onto the mask. Glue it right there so the mask will stay in place, but can still be lifted up. And then just go ahead and put a piece of tape over it so it doesn't go anywhere. Now you can close the helmet while you're wearing it and it will stop right there and it won't go too far down. Next, just get two small pieces of cardboard and glue them together just like that. And then just go ahead and cut this small little nose shape out of it and then glue it right there. Now that it's all finished up, this is what it should look like and you can close it just like that. And then you can still have protection with your eyes. And uh, I guess we're gonna have to go give this guy a paint job. So here it is. I painted it with a gray and a silver and a black to create that worn steel look. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys later.